Welcome to the King's Gallery Artist Series. I'm Lou Antafoya. Lou Antafoya is a granddaughter of Geronimo and Serafina Tafoya. She was born in 1938 and is a daughter of Margaret and Alcario Tafoya. Luann learned to make pottery from her mother. She has 11 brothers and sisters, eight of whom became potters. Over the years, Luann has been featured in numerous books along with museum and gallery shows. Her pottery is made from traditional Santa Clara clay. Each piece is coil built and begins being formed in a puki or base. Luann's pottery is made one coil at a time in a process that can take weeks to finish. After the piece is finished and dried, it is then sanded, carved, and stone polished. Well, it was one Saturday morning, she told me, it, we're going to polish. So she had uh, about five or six bowls, small bowls. So that's when I started off uh, doing polishing at the age of 12. She put on the slip, then um, we'll put on the water first, and then put the slip on. And then she handed me the, that one, and then she started another one. So we were just like rotating all those uh, five or six bowls, at the, and that's where I start learning how to polish. This polishing stones are my favorite. And this one, I use it for the big one. And this small ones, I use it for the edge of a, the carving. And this one, sometimes it's hard to, to get in different places. So I use that in narrow places. But uh, these two are more of what I use. This three, my mom gave it to me, and this one I found it somewhere in the rock shop. This was my, fav my mom's favorite too. After the pottery is polished, it is traditionally fired outdoors to turn it either red or black. Well, the top and the bottom line are always the path, and the, the kiva step and the Praying stick, it's on there. And then the water wave. This is always the water wave. And most of the pots, we have a kiva step like this. Like this, a praying stick and and the water wave on the sides. A year, but I thought, you know, my mom is doing, let me try, see how far I can go. So that's when I start making a storage jar. And um, the first one was about 23 inches tall. Okay, uh, she said, you can do my work, you're the next one. At least I know somebody in the family can do it. Well, like my mom said, there's four directions and each uh, bear paw have to be on four directions. You believe in the, the bear, how, how big their hands are and just put it on there. Bear is always looking for water. Any pot that you put the bear paw on. Luann has not only drawn inspiration from the pottery of her mother and grandmother, but more importantly, has created her own distinctive style in design and form. Doing it, how see how wide it'll, it'll come and then 
uh, bend on the top. And maybe some put a lip on it, you know. But I just thought I'll try, you know, a different shape, different style, and put a different design or maybe a water serpent. And the water serpent, like my mom said, you don't cut that water serpent. If you're going to put it on the pot, you put it, the whole thing around the pot, not cut it off. I was surprised when I got that one. I didn't know, nobody told me until I went to my news show. Somebody told me. I was just surprised, but it was an honor to win that. It's important because that way, what I learned from my mom, the traditional way, it goes to the, the family like to my son or my daughter or granddaughter, whoever want to keep it up the traditional way. And like my mom said, don't, don't leave that. You know, there's a lot of contemporary going on, but keep up the traditional way. So it'll go on in the family, you know. Lou Antifoya's legacy in clay continues with her son, Daryl White Geese. She seeks to continue public traditions that have endured for centuries. This is Charles King. Thank you for joining us for the online artist series. Please check out our galleries online at kinggalleries.com or visit us in Santa Fe or Scottsdale.